Hello, uh, good morning uh, to you all and uh, wish you a very happy new year 2020 and uh, this year is uh, significant because not only we have entered into this 2020 era and in this age of technological disruptions on one hand and on the other, we have this extremely volatile, complex, ambiguous, and what we say, uh, uh, very uncertain word. So, uh, as all my, my friend, they keep asking me various questions, what will happen to, to the economy, to education, to on, on the technological front, and how are these things going to impact our uh, lives? So, uh, a few things. And today I'll be uh, focusing more on this uh, Willis information system and Willis system that we are so closely working on. See, uh, Willis is important, no two uh, opinions about it. Villages are very, very important. And why they are important? Because not only they provide us our food, this food security is entirely, you know, in a country like agrarian society like India, wherein earlier we used to say it is 80 percent, 70 percent. Now we say um, in Uttarakhand only a large population that depend not only on agriculture, but the agriculture based uh, systems. So, uh, farmers, villages, rural segment, those are very, very important. We cannot think about our this uh, uh, urban centers without those villages. And these two are, in fact, inseparable. But what has happened so far, especially in a state like Uttarakhand, as we witness, you know, in last about uh, after the creation of this state, about two decades of its history, there has been rampant migration. People from villages, they are moving to those kasbas, to those towns, or to cities. So it is, it is, it is pretty rampant. It has to happen because ultimately where there is education, there is uh, health, and there are other, uh, you know, opportunities for the people, they move out. So that, that has happened over millennia, that has happened over centuries, and that is happening now. So it is for sure. So how to stop that and how to curb this entire thing is, and uh, it is uh, by empowering all those villages that we have. If a village system has everything, education to healthcare, to entrepreneurship, to all those basic amenities, so anybody, because there is fresh water, there is pollution-less environment, so people would prefer to live there. So. It has to happen in, in a state like Uttarakhand. This is so very vital. So uh, we, 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 in fact, uh, took up a couple of projects. And uh, primarily what we want, you know, we, we just want to develop a model village. Now, what is a model village? A model village, as we say, as we can imagine, that is a village where you have education, you have good educational institutions, especially primary and secondary wherein not only people could send their children to those schools, but there are this primary health centers are there and those primary and then the means of transport routes are there. So availability and means accessibility is there so that in case of need, they could move out to those bigger centers as is required. Then there are employment opportunities. If you know, the, through these um, home stays, through agriculture and agriculture, uh, you know, proper marketing, if they have all these systems in place. So naturally, everybody would love to, you know, not only settle in villages, but to have, uh, but to, but would try to develop, you know, this entire ecosystem, very, 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 which is uh, village and uh, village centric. So we took a village, for example, and this village is uh, Basani. It is near Haldwani. We took it up. And prior to that, we took a village. It is uh, close to Vikasnagar and uh, uphill and uh, this Chakrata region. This village is Samalta. What we tried to do out there, this is something very interesting. 
and uh, under this project we wanted to develop you know this um, digital intervention and digital engagement what we wanted people to know was you know those those basic uh, digital applications digital interventions like what happened we started doing uh, one experiment in villa samalta we uh, started giving training to uh, uh, those um, uh, villages because they had mobiles they had uh, internet though the connectivity you know it was a very very crumbling one it was not that sturdy but uh, people knew about these things so when we gave them demo that those educational those salman khan academy is available you have all those uh, youtubes are available so not only they were interested but they started taking you know uh, all these things pretty seriously then we uh, told them about so many applications those e initiatives those uh, digital initiatives the government has taken up especially like pension yojana or other schemes and the people were very interested then they knew about financial inclusion as to how it is doable and how how could we carry out all those things you know using technologies so not only they took interest but they started doing it so in the process the first thing we started doing especially recently we took up this village basani which is uh, very close to haldwani in uh, kumaun region so what happened was in order to give them a you know this global uh, this global perspective so not only about basani somebody who is in us anywhere you know in the world could not only view what is happening around but at the same time could take pride that you know this website this website belongs to my village so we developed a small website and what happened was it was all people participatory people participated we asked them there is genesis i mean genesis to i mean entire historical perspective how that village was somehow this was established then who were the main people who were residing there and uh, whether they were serving in army the freedom fighters they took part in all over the entire genesis we took into account people tend to the prominent figures of that village so number one are all those things then the present status as to how how many families what is demographic profile how many are going to school what is literacy rate male female this that so on so forth all school institutions smaller village assets everything we, we 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 covered in fact we what we wanted was to you know kind of an asset mapping so that what is what not only with regard to that particular village and we could develop a prototype like all those households where are they located how many people are there if because people say i mean generally this is considered that people have been migrating but we because it is close to haldwani but relatively you know uh, uh, a village where a uh, lot of agriculture and uh, people are quite well off and it is close to haldwani so education and other things are the 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 these are pretty uh, accessible to these people so we 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 took note of all those things how far it is from the city how far and what are connecting places places of worship and uh, what are the major crops and what are those uh, crops mainly which are which they you know they, they they sell off what is the business potential so those uh, those crops those uh, produce were also displayed you know part the, 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 the all those um, all those things also became part of that uh, website so while we were developing all those pages people took a lot of interest they themselves came forward they provided necessary input they said now they just want to do it with our team very small team we just took it up as a very pilot one what we wanted what we wanted initially was to 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 have people participation people's participation when it is there then it becomes much more easier so now in a way so two three four things 
नंबर वन पीपल्स पार्टिसिपेशन एंड दिस पार्टिसिपेटरी अप्रोच इनेबल्ड अस देयर एंगेजमेंट दे स्टार्टेड गिविंग इनपुट्स not only in terms of you know developing all those uh, getting proper uh, documents but at the same time they started taking interest technical uh, they asked okay this particular page if it is to be edited or some all those things are to be done how to go about them so this uh, th this thing also got started off similarly we inquired about uh, suppose those health centers primary health center how many doctors what are the timing when do they come what kind of whether they are homeopathic or this or uh, ayurved or the, our allopathic so all those systems so we have also given them space and uh, a very important uh, part which i could also understand was they had difficulty you see in villages what is happening they are saying we have a space we have people talk about this village tourism but how to promote that village tourism so they they said we have all these houses suppose we have these all these um, buildings the, the those typical rural architecture that they have all those buildings but who is going to come to their villages so through this they the, the villagers said they they wanted to have some kind of application some kind of mobile application so that not only they could uh, give visibility to their village but at the same time they could also exploit this business potential which is uh, uh, involved with this entire uh, village tourism so uh, we, we 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 have started in um, taking it up the, this one also so that these especially now they are saying okay there is a house and with this kind of accommodation with all this facility you will be getting any 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 tourists visiting that side would have all these things so 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 that, that that kind of proposition it has also been put forward so it is important now similarly with regard to we told them about okay now there are hundreds of government scheme hundreds of government scheme in fact we will be surprised from birth of a child to you know the 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 final termination point there are n number of schemes so but, but generally what happens in between there are from gas to electricity to tv connection to tv charging to mobile to this everything is now available on our digital platform unfortunately it does not reach out to the to the to that man who needs it most to that woman who needs it most to that student there there are a number of scholarships but who knows about all those scholarships so we created this idea we said okay we will have all these digital volunteers digital volunteers trained uh, in your villages and in fact these digital volunteers th those will be visiting those villages but they will be from nearby uh, institutions also like in haldwani or like in dehradun so we created number of we trained these college students we said we we, we told them okay we will be giving you digital credit what you do is you learn all these applications if you could go to these villages you could train these uh, villagers these uh, uh, local folks you know um, uh, about these uh, applications and for for which we will be giving you digital credit so in a way it is good for them it is community service so it has uh, clicked off rather well and it is doing pretty well now people have started taking interest now they are getting to terms with these applications and what i think is if we want to uh, you know we 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 really want to uh, somehow take advantage of this particular digital era this digital revolution then we got to involve that uh, last man unless he or she is not involved whatever we say the best kind of uh, those um, uh, gadgets those devices those equipments those machines we have but unless that man is really involved the last mile person the, the last man not much is seen on the ground this is what i have been because i i, I keep moving around i go to these villages and i talk to these people and very very closely so i see that the change can only come when at our village level 
every single individual is empowered digitally also, at least technologically. Because technology is not something for which you need these days some kind of a, uh, you know, degree, diploma or this is required. This is basic applications for basic mobiles. TVs are available. Television is there virtually everywhere. So how could we uh, present and how could we uh, provide uh, all these... Uh, all these um, information to these individuals and to these people is uh, to our citizens is very very important and uh, we are just um, trying to get along with this whole idea now we, we we developed this website we give account of all these things and the, the demographic profile and uh, then other applications then the, the the business part if there are n number of we know it is um, at times, I, I say Uberification of of uh, entire system. Uber Uberification is you don't have all those taxis, but you are having that kind of you know infrastructure and all those kind of platform where you, without having taxis, but you are in fact running this entire transport system. So the, 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 when everything is all the applications available on clouds, where are all those applications are there available and developed by so many different um, application pro providers, need is there to use them properly, to use them proficiently, and um, uh, a transformation indeed possible. Suppose in education, we say in, uh, in our villages, we have those um, uh, primary schools, we have those uh, secondary schools, those schools are there. If we have connectivity, if we have this, uh, um, the video streaming system, it is no big rocket science as to why we can't uh, uh, video stream all those lectures. Those lectures not only with regard to our um, education, all those different um, uh, syllabus based, but at the same time it could be about beekeeping to poultry to uh, fisheries, mushroom farming, anything. It is indeed possible. See, the, the, these, um, at times we say, uh, because uh, living in villages is very difficult, because living on agriculture is very difficult, but with agriculture, if you have fisheries, if you have cold water fisheries, other day I was at this cold water fisheries um, directorate, ICAR center. So they have um, the huge uh, um, farm they have developed. And uh, the kind of variety and the kind of research that, that has gone into it, it is uh, spectacular. Now at village level, if it could be done, and there are a number of schemes, government incentives as to uh, how um, um, we, we can have all these uh, fish farming. If it could be done, it could be fantastic. Similarly, there are a number of sheep to this, to go to everywhere, beehives. So, these are or um, with this or auxiliary and uh, with them all add-ons to the basic agriculture which is so very important could be done and doable in fact people are making use of it organic how can we get into this organic thing so that not only the produce it yields better cost and provides better uh, inputs so it is also possible. It is a. It should. It got to be a comprehensive system or um, uh, rural system. How biotechnology? So uh, these days we're talking about um, all those. Uh, you know these um, uh, farming mushroom to this. So the, these are indeed uh, possible. Could be done. So um, in Uttarakhand and uh, in all. In fact, all around everywhere. We, they, 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 these days, word over, we are saying, like in America earlier used to be a very great uh, percentile of population. It was depending on education, on agriculture. Subsequently, the number got reduced. Now that it is much more organized farming. And uh, they, they, they are reaping the harvest. They are getting not only best of uh, education, best of technology, but at the same time, agriculture is also doing pretty well. Similarly, our villages, our systems, agriculture, education, technologies, health care, entrepreneurship, biotechnology, rural informatics, which is so very crucial. 
rural informatics they bring about a lot of change we started doing something you know making use of uh, these um, the community radio at uh, rudraprayag uh, rudraprayag's center mandakini ki awaaz is the radio station we started also doing nahaldwani so we started giving them small programs educational programs and um, the, the 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 good news is not only villagers they they, they like to all those programs but they learn so much uh, from all those programs and they now they they, they 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 appreciate all these interventions meaning thereby technology it may be coming through community radio means informationing is very important information is critical informationing reaching out to people and at the same time those people also making use of that information so that subsequently that not only boosts their entire economic profile their educational profile their uh, uh, health care so everything it, it should be all uh, comprehensive it should be all uh, properly you know designed and properly planned so only then what we say they, these um, india lives in villages and uh, india is ultimately it is um, if uh, anywhere uh, india is to be seen it is in our villages only then um, uh, this thing is possible and our cities can last our cities can live only when we have these uh, rural segment thriving rural segment we have if our rural um, segment is dying sure for surely it is asking for a doomsday uh, for our cities it is cities cannot live without villages so because ultimately it is living on all those uh, villages so that's very important that's very critical we not only uh, got to think in terms of uh, entire village empowerment system village enablement village information system could help in some way or other in order to achieve the objective but with that several verticals biotech agriculture water rejuvenation water bodies water bodies are drying up so that got to be addressed as to how we can uh, somehow uh rejuvenate our uh, water bodies energy is such a huge huge sector and how could energy sector be properly leveraged there are uh, water streams uh, water bodies as to those micro hydro all those projects could be utilized so all those all those sectors are you know interlinked those are related and um, uh, interwined so 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 very closely that we cannot think of one aspect without thinking about other so uh, all those factors got to be taken into account what we have from our side try to do is just try to develop uh, you know the, the the this brief idea so that one if one template is developed at least it could be replicated so i would always appreciate it was just a very very uh, it has been a baby step from our side as to try to develop uh, some kind of an information system but it got to be it, it got to be further enriched you know in terms of more and more information so, so that it could become uh, really it could it could it should become um, uh, pretty smart it should become uh, it should become uh, robust and it should keep on updating itself so that is very important but at the um, and it got to be people's uh, people uh, uh, participatory one wherein people are not only giving their inputs but at the same time they are feeling they are having a sense of satisfaction and pride that ultimately they are developing it that is very important because if we got to sustain this entire system got to be strengthened so all the processes whatever all scientific processes all research uh, processes which could be used in some effective way must be must be used and uh, this rural renaissance is very important because if it does not happen in a state like uttarakhand and especially in our country so things are going to be really difficult but if our villages if our uh, villages are um, happy 
and a happy village means a happy society economically and educationally and socially so uh, it should be like that it was just uh, one of my thoughts about this uh, village the renesa and uh, my friend they asked me to speak uh, something about it so here uh, here has been my submission thank you thank you so much